What's up guys, Daryl here at the Fairway Bermuda. Thanks for clicking on guys. Just gonna make it quick. Uh, we're gonna walk and uh, take a look at a few things and uh, guys, show y'all what the lawn looking like. And uh, it's like 42 degrees here in Mississippi. And the Bermuda look like it's still hanging on. So I just want y'all to just click in and say, hey, and what's up? And uh, thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, let's just scroll and look at the lawn, guys. Like I said, it's 42 degrees. Still parts of it checking out. Like I said, I did have to cut, guys. I know. I know I said I wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna cut, but I had to get a cut in. It was looking bad, this tall green area. That's what green it needed to cut. So that wasn't my last cut, but I hope, let's put it like that, that'll be my last cut. But yeah, everything is going dormant. Hope the wind ain't bothering you guys. But there it is. Oh, it's hanging on in there, guys. Doug checking out over there. A lot of my neighbors checking out, but I'm not. It's still green. It's still green. I'm way 419 Bermuda. Lawn, if anybody don't know. I have some bad areas I'm about to work on next year, guys, like up in here. Where this big tree at, it's not my tree. But it's, it, um, I was taking soil tests and I couldn't even get the probe in certain, this area here. You couldn't get soil in that, get the probe in that. But yeah, here we go, everything down back. Like I said, I'm gonna do a video on my, taking all these guys down and uh, landscaping the back. That's coming up next. Everything is still looking decent. Look like a jungle, but yeah, so. Here we go. I did take a soil test and I sent it off. I'm waiting on it to come back. So I might just add it on to the end of this display. I mean, this uh, video <laughs> and might work it out. But guys up in here, you see this area right here. This area right here. It's common Bermuda in there guys. So you know what fairway gonna do? I'm gonna increase laid and round up it. In just a minute, I'm gonna show you guys that. This whole big area right here. Now, I wish I wouldn't have cut. I would have known where that, it wouldn't be so hard for me to find the common. I know it's here, you can see. See the thick blades? You can see, no thick blades. Well, it's patches in here somewhere, but up here on the hill, you can see, it's a lot of it here. It's common, I don't know how it got here. And the uh, previous owner put it in the back. I'll show y'all that right quick, but I'm trying to make this quick. But uh, that's why I smoked up by the patio in the back. There's a lot of common in there. So I'm gonna smoke that. I'm just gonna take that lick. It's almost, uh, I can take that brown. It'll be brown after a while anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that lick. I think I got a few pieces up in here, but I'll do a quick short once it brown out guys and show y'all. But. If you see it next year, it's not a uh, spring dead spot. But it's everything, guys. I ain't been out here in a while. It clean all that up. Hey, you remember I put my headway G down, fungicide down, so I'm gonna do another round of it shortly. I hope that prepared be back next year, certain areas. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go to the back. But we got a lot to talk about, and I like to thank a lot of people. Just hold on, guys. Here it is. Most of my neighbors are lungs going dormant. All right, let's go to the back. Let's see what the back looks like. But I did cut that. I'll just show you all a few clips. You can see a lot of grass was coming off the back. I didn't, I don't have any clips on the front, so. Let me break in back here. Here we go. 
Now I'm explaining this here. Up in this area right here, the previous owner had all, that's why I really wanted to smoke it, but all this was coming. So I smoked that out of there. But like I said, I'm taking grasses from the front, bring them back here. I'm gonna landscape all this back here, gonna be pretty. And uh, I'm gonna start on it. I got a few jobs to be doing. So I'll be starting on this uh, shortly and cleaning that out, moving stuff around. But here's the back. Here's the back. It's still pretty much green. I, I just, I'm just showing y'all guys cause I hadn't been on in a while. And you know this spot here, this one gonna have to be worked, but you can see how, how the Bermuda growing in. Never worry about Bermuda guys. It just, you try to worry about where you don't want it at. That's about all on Bermuda in this area here. So it's filling in, it's gonna need a nice uh, same level. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be all right guys. It's gonna work out. All right guys, this is it. Now that's another thing uh, right in here. I'm gonna have to work on this area. I'm gonna have to do a lot of organics in here because I tried to put my soil test probe down. Man, it couldn't, it couldn't even go. It was embarrassing. But this area right here, it's just certain areas guys that's compacted more than others, I don't know. And another thing that had a trampoline back here. So I'm thinking, yeah, that trampoline was right in here. I remember now. So that compact area. And up by the driveway is compacted where I got that uh, spring dead spot. That was compacted also. And uh, that's, I'm have to, I, I've been working on that all this year and last year, but I'm just going to do uh, more organics. Yeah, since we're on organic, let me, uh, let me remind y'all. Let me say this right quick. What I used in my lawn this year, y'all seen what I had put down in the lawn. I had, uh, I used uh, worm casting. You can go back and watch. I used worm casting. I used uh, Humichar. That's a great product. I used Humichar. I used Humid DG. Uh, everybody on the fence on the chicken feed. Look guys, if you, you have to go back, do some research on soil. Go back, like I said, I watch a lot of doc and a lot of more. Uh, I, I'm all about pounding my soil. I don't, I don't worry about fertilizer. Fertilizer, that, that's what the grass need a little bit of. I don't worry about that. I worry about organic. So don't be on the fence with that chicken feed. It may sound crazy you putting chicken feed on your lawn, but you, I can show a picture and, um, and show y'all when when I did my irrigation up front, you can see how brown and dark that the soil was. That's I've been using chicken feed three years, so you know it, it's it's don't be afraid. And you know people want to use uh, certain products and big name products, and I, I'm not a big fan of spraying liquid carbon. You know if it, I'm not no big fan of that. You have to let some you, when you do your research on it. We don't let anything like Doc said die on the lawn, guys. And what that does, that chicken feed does, it dies, it decomposes, and it turns to good uh, fungi for the uh, microbes to eat. Y'all got to understand that. You know, and um, just, it, it, this is what I do to my lawn. I'm, I'm trying to do it the cheapest way to show y'all how I had had a nice lawn over the years and this year was awesome for me this year so don't be afraid to put chicken feed down it may sound crazy and worm cast i get this over here in mississippi so don't get afraid i always go for the soil guys stop worrying about fertilizer i do not like i i put fertilizer down just because the grass need just a little bit of it i don't focus on no fertilizer and you know it's it's all about uh organics so if you guys just starting your lawn and you say you're gonna do it yourself this year just go ahead and buy start with human char human char is the best i don't care what nobody said hands up human char is the best and him dg that them the two awesome products that you could be putting down in your soil because it breaks down as a dg product and it goes down in the soil right quick and it don't leave the soil fairly leave the soil so quick make your head swim so Get on that board on putting carbon down. This is a good time. It's 46 degrees here in Mississippi, and I'll be pounding 
more humidity down in the next month by November. I do a couple more bags uh, the first of spring. That's all I'm. That's all I look for. You know, put that down. That don't go out. That don't leave the soil. And then it uptakes all your nutrients and and water, and it gives it back to your your grass. You seen my lawn this year? I don't brag on my lawn, but I want. If you follow in the channel, I'm gonna show y'all some that I use that I had good results with. So it's nothing nothing wrong with putting uh, chicken feed on the lawn and um, do a soil test. If you starting to do your lawn this year, go ahead and do a soil test. Do the soil test. I'm gonna show y'all me. I'm gonna look clip me just doing the soil test. I just sent it off. Hopefully it'll be back before I edit this video and then I'll show y'all what's up. I did the back separate than the front. All right, guys. I'll be right back, but I got a lot of people to thank. All right, see that. All right, guys. Um, like I said, this is my first season, and it was an awesome season. And um, y'all yeah, know I, it was my first time. I was just picking up the camera and you could just go back and see some of my videos. And I think they got a little better as I got through the season. But um, I just want to thank everybody that. Um, They've been following me this year. It's a lot of you guys, and I, I got some of them on my little pad right here that I'm going to read out, and I appreciate y'all. We'll start with my wife, Tiffany. I really appreciate you putting up with me and uh, and all my uh, frustration going through trying to film and editing and all that good stuff. And uh, uh, my wife was, she was doing most of the filming. If you guys see, uh, the film following the camera following me or whatever that's her you know um she just got pretty good with it and uh comfortable with it but i'd like to thank you sweetheart appreciate you a whole lot I'd like to thank my sister sharita bose i like to thank my brother-in-law alex bose and i like to thank my other sister lisa lisa Berkins. i appreciate y'all thanks for all the support that y'all giving me putting up with, with me this year and uh watching my videos I really appreciate that, guys. I love you guys to death. All right, starting off with uh, Garland Holland. Garland got a channel over there, guys. Uh, Raider Nation. Thanks, Raider. Thanks, Garland. Uh, Christopher Robinson. Appreciate it. Uh, Ripping CT in Atlanta, ATL. Thanks, Ripping. Grass Thief. Jack and Randy Jones. Appreciate that, you guys. Sweetheart. Uh, Tank Texas. Uh, James the Lawn Junkie. Willie Lane. What's up, Willie? Goddamn King Kong. King Kong. What's up? King Kong got a channel over there, guys. Go hit him, hit him up. Ben Rayham. Thanks, Ben. Uh, and uh, thanks for being there at Real Rollers and uh, having all of the fun talk. Half. A damn half. Half is the one on the fence with the chicken feed. Half, listen, half is the one on the fence with the chicken feed. All right, guys, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to throw the wind. Blowing. I hope the wind ain't bothering you guys. Uh, Tomex, Xmot, he got a channel over there. I hope I'm saying your name. I'm, I apologize if I butcher it. Chaz Bishop, what's up, Chaz? Nathania Bunting, Rolo C. Rolo just starting off, y'all guys. Go ahead and give him a shout. He got a channel over there. E N three eight two O E N E A three eight two O. I appreciate it. Osego one. What's up, Osego? Osego is a Laura. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. Randy Villard. Two Triller. Two Triller. What's up, Two Triller? What's up, Papa John Z three? Thanks, man. Gary Grant Ham. Gary Grant Ham. Gary got a turn over the guys. Go ahead and give him a shout. Uh, Mr. BD. Or BD. Yeah. Mr. BD got a turn over there. Appreciate you, man. And uh, got a free more. Hold up, guys. Alpha Fiscu 662. Hope I'm saying it right. Alpha Fiscu 662. Uh, Nicola S. What's up, Nicola? Charles Westmore Lane or Lane. I can't spell. Thanks, Charles. Uh, Juan Rodriguez. Juan Rodriguez. Appreciate you. And the E-Brig. is the E-B-R-I-G-Brig. What's up? 
Richard Smith, appreciate you. Truth Seeker, Lem Lem, appreciate you. And Robert Wallace, hope to see you next year, Rob, out there in YouTube land. And uh, yeah, them guys, I appreciate y'all guys. They the one I always come on and comment on my channel and they give me, I get so excited and uh, chat back, comment back and I love it and I appreciate you guys. The one for you guys, I don't know what I'll be. I appreciate you. Just keep it up and uh, we shall have a fun season next year. And uh, another thanks to some of the YouTubers, uh, uh, the YouTubers and um, I'd like to get thanks to Ron Henry, uh, Sonny Bermuda. Sonny got a channel over there, Ron got a channel. Um, go over and get them guys a shout. Dwayne World, I appreciate you, Dwayne. These guys got channels, so y'all check them out. And uh, we we in this family together, guys. Come on now, come on now. Uh, the DIY channel, a guy over there good over in Texas over there. What's up, DIY? You got Blaze of Grass, that's Johnny over there. Johnny, keep doing what you do, I, I really enjoy it. But these the guys, if I miss any about it, I really apologize, guys. But these guys, I go back. I done went back on my videos and try to write down every name. And uh, if I miss any about it, I apologize. But I really appreciate you guys and um, all the other YouTubers. And I really appreciate you guys. The one for you guys, I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'll be out here doing it if there nobody watching. But thank y'all so much. And uh, I welcome y'all to my family. I appreciate y'all. Y'all just like family. And... Um, Y'all, um, I got another video coming up, one more hopefully, and uh, like I said, uh, I really appreciate y'all, and uh, thanks to all you guys, and uh, I'll see you guys next year, a little bit more this year, but next year, we should have a nice, nice, uh, fun season next year, and uh, just keep hitting that like button, pushing it out, I appreciate you guys a whole lot, love, peace, and I'm out.